Earthlings. I'm Justin. This is Agent Kellerman. How's it going, buddy? Well, we're here to do the Hungry Buttons 2023 recap. You, you got anything to say, Agent Kellerman? He says another year, another dollar. This was a very eventful year for me. There was a lot of touring. There was a lot of drawing. Musician Mansion happened. Is it was it was a crazy year. In all honesty, because I was doing so much drawing, I really didn't like make as many videos as I did for 2022. So um what I'm gonna do is I'm kinda just do like a little voiceover like in between some of the clips to show the art that I was working on at the time. And um It'll kind of help show what I was doing behind the scenes a little bit better. Get ready to say goodbye to 2023. Say hello to 2024. Let's go. First vlog of the new year. How do you feel? She says she loves it. This might not have been the best hat to wear. It keeps falling off my head. You think, should I spook the people here? Make them think there's like a, like a bear. <laughs> if you can read this, you're gay. This is the one, this is the downfall. This is where like the rabid homeless zombie bites me. Oh yeah, we're good, we're good, hold on. All my days of sw swamp walking in my, in my, in my youth taught me the secrets of walking through the bogs. I'm gonna just try to step on this. Oh boy. Ah. We gotta look at where I came from. So this is just like a doodle that I did in like 2012 when I was in college. And I would always just draw things like from my imagination because then they never looked wrong. Like if I tried to draw like a person or a cat or like an environment, they would look wrong because I didn't have any structure and I didn't have the fundamentals. I didn't understand perspective and anatomy and stuff like that. So I could only draw like creatures from my imagination because you can't look at this and say it looks wrong. You don't know what it is. I don't even know what it is. Like, is it cool to look at? Sure. But there's, there's no rules. And for decades, I used that as a crutch and almost like an excuse as to why to not learn how to draw for real. This is an album cover I did in 2013, and this perfectly demonstrates what I'm talking about. Like, now we're looking at real things that you know what they look like. You can look at this road and see the perspective is not correct. You can look at this guy and see the perspective is not correct. Like, he's floating above the road and the proportions are weird. How big is this door in comparison to the road? This was 2015. This looks awesome. Well, that's because I didn't technically draw this. I traced it. I went on Google Images and I found, like, photographs of actual things and then... I would just like mirror them and transform them a little bit to fit my agenda and just composite all everything into like a Photoshop thing. And then I would trace everything and then color it to, you know, fit my agenda as well. I couldn't draw this. Like this is a photograph of an actual ziggurat that I traced over. Eventually I finished my book for the Arise set and I wanted to release concept art of the characters. And if you're on my Patreon, you saw this. This was the only concept art that I released so far. And you might say like, oh, Justin, this doesn't look that bad. Well, that's because it's traced. I would create these figures using this website called Hero Forge. It's for making like little D&D &D figurines for your campaign. I would design the figures and then screenshot them and then ta-da, like it's almost like an exact trace. And even this took me like over an hour to trace. The next one is what really pushed me. I didn't even finish it. I was just looking at it and I was like, she looks like a figurine. She looks like a statue. There's no life in this. I was so upset that I couldn't like draw the concept art the way I wanted to. And conveniently around this time is when AI art started to pop off. And one of my friends was like, yeah, man, like maybe you could try using that. I generated this. And I was so mad. A computer program that steals people's artwork to even create this in the first place 
could do it better than my own brain. So that is what really pushed me into deciding, you know what, enough's enough. I'm going to learn how to draw. February 2nd, 2023, that was the day that like the artistic fire got lit under me and I was like, I'm going to learn how to draw. I'm doing this. So I was like, I'm going to forget everything I know about drawing and I'm going to start from scratch. But I was like, I need incentive to keep going. So I bought a $1,600 drawing tablet and I was like, that was this month's rent. I can't quit now. I have to keep going. This thing is so expensive that I need to actually earn the right to like own a drawing tablet that nice. I had some art books from when I was trying to learn how to draw a little bit in 2015. I dug them out and I was like, all right, here we go. So I learned about like proportions and I learned how to like kind of con start constructing these figures. And this was like one of the first ones that I did. But I was like, I need more because as a vocal coach, I know that just watching free tutorials on YouTube and like working from like a book or something like that, it's not enough. I was like, I need to like take a course. I need to pay for a course. So um, from all the free tutorials I had watched, there was one guy who really stood out. His name's uh, Mark Brunette. I really liked the way he taught, so I bought his full art course for like 400 bucks, so I had more incentive, and this was like the set, I bought it on the 14th, and this was like the second day of taking his course, and I was like, dude, this is officially the best human that I've ever drawn, like, it's not great, there's issues, but I was like, but I drew it, like, I did this, and... I don't know. I was really, really proud of it. So from this day forward, everything you're going to see, nothing is from my imagination. It's all references. It's me looking at someone else's photograph or someone else's art and freehanding it. So um, don't think any of like any of what I'm about to show you is like my original content. These are like me essentially doing like a cover of somebody else's art or like a photograph of someone. So I'm not going to go through the trouble of crediting everyone. Just understand that like none, I'm not claiming any of it. I'm literally just drawing other people's art and drawing actual people and trying to build up this foundation. So I worked with like gesture drawings for a while and just like learning how to construct, you know, a body. It almost felt like a puzzle and I love puzzles. Like it felt like how do, how do I make this look correct? I got this badass drawing pad. It's bigger than my monitor. I used to have a different monitor here and it doesn't fit anymore. So now I'm using the drawing pad as my other monitor. Uh, I've been drawing anywhere between 4 and 12 hours a day since February 2nd. So that's literally all I've been doing every single day. Legolas! What do your elf eyes see? They're taking the hobbits to Isengard! He keeps rolling, rolling, rolling. What is a moonshine chair? You wanna try it? I kinda wanna try one. Yeah, grab it. So Matt, bad, I think You're all three so of us should bad. skull. How bad on a scale of one to 10? Amanda has uh, I gotta try one. Amanda, then. How bad are they? Yes, Very. They're you know. bad. They're quite aggressive. I don't like them. Go. I, I don't like cherries. Whoa. <laughs> You're not gonna like it, Jake. He just went through the seven. Oh my god! Hey, make a wish. Harpoon the whale! Oh, shit. that was dead. <laughs> March 7th rolls around, and I had been drawing for a whole month, like almost every single day, four to 12 hours a day. I was completely obsessed. And you can see, I like, I had already improved so much compared to what I was doing in February. But the biggest problem that I had in March was that I was focused on quality instead of quantity. And I figured that out very quickly because, like, it would take me, like, an hour to do, like, one of these figures. Whereas doing something like this took me, like, five, ten minutes. And I was like, dude, like... In the hour it took me to draw this guy, I could have drawn like 12 of these guys. What matters is doing this as many times as you can because the more of these that you can draw, the more mistakes you're going to make. And the more mistakes you make, the, the, more, the faster you can learn. How you doing, Stella? You want to tell the folks what's, what's been going on? Yeah? Tell us all about it. You been feeling good? Feeling healthy? Yeah? She's having a good time. So in case you've want, been wondering what else I've been up to, I've just been drawing. I've been working on the second Hungry Lights book, Heavy is the Crown. And you're probably like, whoa, when's the first one coming out? I don't know. 
I I finished it and I don't feel like releasing it yet. I got to get better at drawing first so I can release the concept art. Then I'll do that. I've been making a vocal course for my Patreon, so that's been happening. I've been teaching a lot of lessons. Hey, you found his actual shoes? Yeah. He's got two different shoes on. I know, so I have to wear two different to come out here. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean I can't come in? Well, don't put those in there. Don't do that. <laughs> Now we're halfway through April and you can see like my anatomy is continuing to improve. I started dabbling with like hands and feet, um, but I still was like shying away from heads and like I was holding myself back in the course. Like I had been in this course for like two months and I was like, I just really want to keep working with figure drawing and like gesture drawing before I move on. But I was like, you know what? It's been two months. Like I need to, I need to learn how to draw heads and it was really hard for me. Like, um, the course had to be used the Loomis method and like, I just really struggled. I didn't really understand how things changed like based on the perspective, like heads did not come easy for me. Other than the hands and the feet, this one, I was really, really proud of it. So I decided to try coloring it and giving it a little bit of shading. Shading comes very intuitive to me. Like I hadn't even learned anything about shading. I was like, hey, it's darker here in the reference. Let's color it darker here. I pretty much just spent the majority of April um, just drawing bodies and drawing heads and I didn't know how to draw a face yet. I was just kind of like trying to feel it out and they look pretty weird. The improvements were, were there and that's all I cared about. Let's crack this puppy open and see what we uh, what we can do. You don't, is this not a good spot Stella? Comes with an Allen wrench. What an adorable cat. Jesus, really? Oh my god. Holy cow, that was tight. Let's see if I can do it without the foot coming. Oh, I don't know. I second guess myself. Oh. That was the first trick I landed all day. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Oh, that hurt a little bit. Ah. Emos. Only all the emo kids grew up to be gay or trans or they died. May was an extremely interesting, fun, and productive month for my drawing journey because I started drawing hentai. And as you guys know from Robex the Mustang, I'm a huge hentai enthusiast. Like, call me a perv if you want, I don't care. I've loved hentai since I was like 13 or 14 years old, and being able to like draw it. It was like a dream come true. And the reason I started drawing hentai now was because my friend Matt, um, I shared with him my drawing journey thus far, and he was like, yo, dude, you'll be able to draw your own hentai soon. And so May 2nd, I was like, I wonder if I can. And so, again, this is not my original content. I just pulled up, like, someone else's hentai drawing, and I redrew it. The best part about it, though, is that the, uh, the original, it cut off right here. So... Their foot wasn't in it, but I was like, you know what? Like, I know how to draw feet. I, I could just draw my own foot. And clearly, I don't know how to draw feet because I didn't even realize it was backward. Like, one of my other friends, I sent it to him, and he was like, why does it look like her foot's backward? And I was like, <laughs> because it is. Another reason that May was an interesting month for drawing is because I'm on tour at this point, so everything is going to be traditional. This was the first face that I ever drew, and this I did draw from imagination. I wanted to take the heads to the next level, so 
I moved forward in the drawing course and I learned like where to place the eyes, how to draw the nose, the mouth, the ears, um, Still didn't learn how to draw, like, hair. You can see the ears, obviously, it's from imagination. Like, they're totally wrong. But, I mean, for my first time drawing anything from imagination, I was like, okay, okay, like, I made some guy's face. So, it felt pretty cool. <laughs> No, I don't want to do that one. Okay. There's a part in that song. It's like that bridge part where the it's like, better than a better than you. Oh, yeah, better. yeah. I still don't know the words to it. If we're playing that song, I was like, I'm just not going to learn the words to that part. <laughs> it's so confusing. I was like, I'm just going to like make shit up and scat on the fly. And scat on the fly. <laughs> Yo. No, <laughs> thanks. The professional himself. That's right. <laughs> you get bound up, scat on the fly. <laughs> Most of May, I spent drawing, like, hentai girls and, like, anime faces. Um, and you can see, like, I really struggled with it. That sounded like a baby gator. Where? It went, arr, arr, arr. You know that noise they make when they're calling for their mom? Dude, the, the, I don't see the glow anymore. I don't see Dude, it. Dude, those... I don't see it. Dude, either. it's coming to get us. It's yeah. baby's called. <gasps> Dude. Bro, bro, that was a f***ing alligator. Did you hear it splash? It's right over where the eyes were. We gotta get the f*** <laughs> out of here. Dude, no, it's coming to get us. I wanna see it, I wanna see it. Hold on, I'll back it up. Wait, can, I, can I throw a stick again? Where's the stick? I don't want to touch poison. Dude, 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 over there, over there! Oh! You see the water rippling? Yes, yes, I did! Dude! I knew it! Dude, it's gonna f***ing come and get us. You we gotta so? get out of here. I shouldn't have chased the geese. They cursed us. Go, 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 stop it. To the next checkpoint. The geese did this. Um, this was my attempt to draw my friend Tatiana. And like, I don't know. It's not that great. Uh, you, you can't really tell it's her at all. <laughs> Voldemort's right over there. He's sitting right behind Holly. Oh, I can't. I can't. This is so funny. Today's the the, the anniversary yeah, the of, that, of the date. And he's yeah, right is. there. 30 feet away. Oh my god. What? The urinal's good. Bro, that's sinister gates. <laughs> All of Avenged Sevenfold just walked by us. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
okay, he's black and I'm half black. Although I will say in this part of Atlanta, I do feel like like the one marshmallow, like in a cup of hot chocolate. I, I don't think I've seen any white people. No one's gonna f with you. We'll see. I'm afraid of nobody and nothing. I'm not even afraid of tigers in the rainforest. I'm not even afraid of ocelots. I'm not even afraid of snow leopards. They can leap up to 40 feet and I'm still not scared. We are in Atlanta. Where are you gonna find a snow leopard? I ain't afraid of Atlanteans. <laughs> you and your t sunken technology. You think I give a shit? I don't. I'm not scared. Shut up. I shouldn't have went for the tail whip. Yo. Uh, I don't have enough momentum. Oh my glasses. <laughs> Toward the end of May, I really started feeling like I was making a lot of progress. I did this in like 15 minutes, which I was super proud of. And I did it in a moving RV, like considering all that, it came out really good. May, I just felt like I finished it really, really strong. I felt like I made huge strides. June was just as productive as May, if not more productive. You can see I went back to realism and I really started paying attention to like the muscle anatomy and like how these things are shaped. Um, my line confidence was improving. Like you can see the strokes are longer, they're flowier, they're looser. Just the overall gestures were really starting to look more natural. Even with faces, like the things were starting to look more natural. I still was really struggling with like the perspective of ears for some reason, but like noses, they weren't looking as weird. The eyes were actually starting to like fit the faces. So I was like super happy with my progress. This was a piece I at the time was really, really proud of. I just wanted to do like a finished thing. This took me like 14 or 16 hours. I can't even remember. And obviously there, there are issues with it. It, like her feet are way too small her hands are way too small like this knee is like awkwardly pointy uh, this kind of looks like she has a lazy eye I still didn't know how to draw hair at all but what really motivated me more than anything else is that every single day I saw improvements like even going from the 19th to the 24th like you can see that I was getting more comfortable drawing faces and yeah there's mistakes like this eye is like totally not even on the same plane as this eye but like, who cares, you know, make the mistakes, you make the mistake, you realize you made it. And then you next time you go, oh, I don't want to draw the eyes lopsided and you do better toward the end of June. I took a break from drawing people and I just decided to focus on perspective. But like, I couldn't do this five months ago, but being able to understand how these cubes turned in space is just monumental for drawing figures and you can already see the improvements june was just incredible for learning july started off as really really productive because i started messing around with lighting more and hair started clicking for me which was huge like to this day hair is my number one biggest struggle like i just have a really hard time drawing hair but at the beginning of July it just started to click a little bit more but then what happened is I drew my first original content this was a D&D &D character that I made for a campaign that I was gonna play and um, I ended up scrapping the character but like, I spent like two days on this like I gathered a bunch of different references and it's not perfect like I can see like I really messed up this gear right here and this one kind of fell out of perspective but like for my first, like, original concept art, I had spent so much time and raised my expectations so much that everything I drew the next day felt like crap, and I honestly took a break. Like, this was the last thing I drew in July. I did not draw again until August. Justin and Stella Luna here. It's currently almost 6.30 in the morning on uh, July 16th. 
I think. I had to get up early to go to a flight to Washington State uh, for Jared Dines' uh, metal musician mansion. It's even bigger on the inside. What is happening? There's a Jesus table. Are these solid gold plates? No, they're plastic. There's nutcrackers. There's suits of armor. There's mysterious paintings. That's probably straight out of the Da Vinci Code. We just got our team, and you're never gonna believe who we got. Two vocalists. Think of the noises. What the fuck is up? Is this a mansion? Who's this fucking mansion? I see you sitting there, motherfucker. That's what they say. Sexy John himself. I wanna see you motherfucking stand there still. I'm not the body fucking shit. Go! What the fuck I done to me? I got a question for you. Yeah. Why whiskey and orange juice? It was, it was it was orange juice vodka, and I just said get whiskey for vodka. But like, do you do that often? Oh, Have you ever mixed orange juice with whiskey? <laughs> <I'm disgusting. laughs> Wait, did you say it's disgusting? Then why did you ask him to get it? I'm so confused. And then you're just like silent laughing up there. I'm drinking my whiskey orange juice. He just said it's disgusting and he's drinking it right now! Never Justin, are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one, go. What? Wonderwall. How do we do deathcore Wonderwall? Are you guys just gonna play the chords and we just scream it? Yeah, literally. We're doing deathcore Wonderwall. Deathcore Wonderwall. Did you guys hear the crazy news? No. Creed's back together. Really? Yep. With arms wide open. Yep. Whoa, look at this. You got a spider attack. Get out of my car. So the GoPro will not be oh, hold up. allowed in? The GoPro's not allowed in? How come? No, yeah, because it's considered a professional camera. Really? But my phone phone is allowed in? Yeah. I mean, that's fine. Can I go through and then come back out that way? Yep. Well, hold oh, on. I'll let you out. He'll take you out. They said the GoPro's not allowed in because it's considered a professional camera. Oh, so I gotta bring it back to the car. I gotta see if I can film a little of a show with my unprofessional camera that can zoom to the front row.
after a month long break from drawing, August rolled around and I was ready to hop back on the horse. Unfortunately, I can't show you like any of it because all I drew was like porn. There's really no way to even censor it. Like, I just drew like X rated, like hentai sex scenes. But this is the beginning of August. And then this is the end of August. And you can see, like, I got way better at drawing hands. I got way better at drawing feet. Um, things are starting to look more 3D and have more depth. And it was just, just a really, really good month. And I'm here with uh, Tatiana. We're at the Sacred House of Mirrors. The Chapel of Sacred Mirrors. It's apparently the guy that does, like, tools album art. It's like his his painting place. Except for whatever this thing is, like the cockroach man, grasshopper <gasps> penis. The cockroach. Like what is this? He's got a thing against dicks. It's yeah, this guy is super against dicks. He doesn't like dicks or anal sex. It's very old fashioned. His art is really good though. I'll give him that. But like, come on, bro. Dicks aren't that scary. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> what's up with that? Why is? Dick Roach, like, leading terrorist. He always draws himself with a huge dick. But, like, how come he doesn't put, like, monster fangs on his? This is a picture of himself after he ate a whole bag of flaming Hot Cheetos. <laughs> uh, so for those of you who are not aware, um... My band Tala recently had to part ways with Musin because some allegations came up, uh, grooming allegations, and I guess you could say sexual coercion. Is that the right term? Possibly. So, yeah, they came up. The thing is, they're not allegations. They did happen. I think I'm going to chop all my hair off. It's been problematic for a while. I bleached my hair, I want to say maybe like a year or two ago, and... I left it in for way too long and damaged it. Like, so there's crazy split ends and dryness. And even though it's grown out a bunch, it keeps splitting. Like, I think I have to like hard reset my hair for it to be healthy again. Now is the time. Oh man. I feel like, like, Mr. Bungle. This was the hard reset for the hard reset part two. That's the look. I look like one of those Vogue models. Get used to it. This is me. September was definitely one of my best months, and it's because I buckled down and just started grinding out faces. I drew so many realistic portraits, and it was hard for me. Like, I had to force myself to do it because I didn't like drawing faces at all, and... It, I guess it was almost self-destructive. The reason I didn't like drawing faces was because they looked so bad compared to the bodies. Because I spent so much time on the bodies. I put so many hours into the anatomy and the perspective that the faces almost looked like someone else drew it. They looked terrible. Potters are small. You could almost say that they're minors. This one's for music because, well... We all know if you're a, a fully grown adult ball, you shouldn't be messaging minors or putters. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you just crushed that sh Well, was that my best swing was with a putter. I can pinch off the line. No brake fluid goes to that caliper. That caliper doesn't work anymore. However, however, however. we're gonna actually just figure out which brake line is the one that goes to the driver's side rear caliper. We're gonna trace it all the way up to the master cylinder and I'm just gonna put a nut. I'm gonna disconnect the brake line and put a nut where it's supposed to be. Stella, what do you think? How you feel about this tour? an 
Avatar shirt. Now, Cora, yeah, Jared got recognized. He recognized me. And they're like, what are you doing in a behemoth like, show? I was like, well, maybe I did. Yeah, it's like, bro, I'm down with the devil. What do you mean? What am I doing down here? 666, motherfucker. Rip, I think it's crazy that out of all the pumpkins, you survived. Yeah. How do you feel about that, Rip? Yeah, dude, you're right. He said that he thinks it's funny that he's a pumpkin and he lasted longer than the RV. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, dude. Rip, chill. Oh, Rip, you're crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Am I not supposed to do that? It's a floater. Oh my god, you're not supposed to put it on the top! <laughs> We've been over this. It's Derek. a floater. This oh, is this, is, with this is Derek as a bartender. Get the sound, too. Like, can you imagine him just in a club and making was, drinks for people? Like, no, and he just goes, <laughs> <laughs> and then hits him. The funny thing is, doesn't matter what you ask for, you always get a Moscow meal. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Derek. Derek. <laughs> is it bad? This is stronger than Thomas's. No, it's not. It's not that. I, put, I topped it off with some of the ginger beer. What are you talking about? Is oh my that? god, dude. <laughs> I would draw anime characters in the hentai still, but I would start to include more realistic elements. Like instead of just drawing a little line for the nose, I was like, well, let me draw a more realistic nose. I would draw like a really realistic portrait and then I would draw a couple, you know, anime girls to make sure that I was still drawing, but I would try to spend a little bit more time on the faces instead of just scribbling them in. I did still spend time on like hands and feet. Um, I had days where I would just only draw anime faces and again, try to make them more realistic. And I had to just grind it out. Like I said, I had to just like do it over and over and over again and make those mistakes so that I could correct those mistakes and learn. Um, but I was really happy with like the bodies. I was really happy with the hands. By the end of the month, I was so much happier with the way the portraits were looking. Like it was September was just so productive. And again, I was on tour at this point, so I switched to traditional, which made it a lot of fun because when you're doing traditional, you can't do layers. You know, it's here's your sketch. You could erase it if you want, but I was kind of lazy about that. Like I just do draw the sketch and then draw darker lines over the sketch. And I don't know, like I was, I was happy with the progress for September. We were playing at the exact same time as Bad Omens, which sucks. One, because I wanted to see them. Two, because they're bigger than us, so they're gonna suck up the crowd. But I'm sure they're gonna have a great show. I'm sure we're gonna have a great show. <laughs> still on tour but it was a really fun month because I started working with expressions and at first it was pretty tricky because you know you go back to September I had really just gotten the faces not looking stupid like the faces actually started looking decent and now all of a sudden I'm having to take these elements and contort them in order to make them look like the emotion they're supposed to represent like anguish or like anger or like shock it was it was it was a lot of fun i still obviously was working with anatomy and shading and other things like that but i i was kind of doing like a pretty even distribution like 
it kind of just turned into like a routine of draw like a couple portraits, draw a couple bodies. I had been hyper fixating on drawing women. So every once in a while, I would try to draw like the male physique in there. Two years ago, you couldn't even walk. Now you're doing front flips. Yo! Yo! It needs to be at least three, three times bigger than this. Real stuff. At this point, I'll stand up. Oh I'll stand up for this. Well, yeah, we got oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> Give me some. I just felt so cold. It's very thirsty. <laughs> it's so thirsty. Oh my god! It's almost there! Yeah! yeah. started clicking even more which again I was really excited about because hair was something I always struggled with but you know toward the middle of October and like the end the faces really started to look good the problem was that they didn't look like the references it looks like a good face like you can tell this is a face you can tell the emotion it doesn't look weird but it doesn't look like the actual person and that bothered me like, I was like, why are the, like, why doesn't the eye look like her eye? Why doesn't the nose look like her nose? And it started to frustrate me. So I took a break and kind of was just doing, you know, just like gesture drawings and figure construction and, and just kind of going back to solidify like the fundamentals and the foundation because the stronger your foundation is, obviously, the stronger everything's going to look. By the end of October, I was, again, really, really happy with like the bodies and the feet and the hands and stuff like that. I was getting a lot better at exaggerating the poses and really showing the gesture and help bring bringing the 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 drawings to life by the beginning of november i was actually home from tour but i had a few blank pages left in the sketchbook i had been using so i was like i'm just gonna finish this up before i switch back to digital and so i would look at artists like ergo josh or like sam does art and i would pick portraits that they drew and i would be like okay let me follow some of their steps let me draw the nose the way they drew it let me draw the lips the way they drew it and i did see improvements but um I decided to take a break for a little while, go back to working on bodies. Um, I started playing around with different color palettes and like trying to learn color theory a little bit. And I was pretty happy with the success. I tried different like methods of coloring, different styles. We got some sad news for you. Stella's not doing too well. A couple days ago, she stopped eating. She's been sitting in dark, isolated places, which is something cats tend to do when they uh, think they're gonna die. She's getting kind of wobbly on her legs. And I mean, she's 16 and a half years old, so she's old. The hardest part for me is that I'm leaving for tour on Sunday. I'm not going to be around for the next three weeks. She's getting put down while I'm out on the road for three weeks. This is going to be the last time that I see her. And she's just hanging out while I pack, just like she always does. All right, Stella, this is it. I'm gonna miss you so much. You are the best cat in the whole world. All right. Goodbye, Stella. I just love Creed and a baby. I decided to just do little studies of specific elements of the face. So like, rather than trying to have the whole face look like the person's face, I was like, well, let me see if I can just get their eye to look like their eye. Let me see if I can get the nose to look like this person's nose. Let me see if I can draw their lips. And if I can get these individual parts to look exactly the way they should, well then it'll be easier for me to get the whole face to. I played red light instead of cotton mouth because I knew it was time to play cotton mouth, but it just went blank. I can't even put it 
so I was just like, it's a blast beat something. Dun, 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 dun. That was the most captivating performance I've ever seen. It makes it look like I'm a cop and I'm like stopping you. I used to it's one of those. Oh God! Like, oh, oh. She, she, she I'm said. I'm not arresting you. She said. I'm not, sir, sir, you're not under arrest. I just want to ask you some questions. I just want. Yeah, we got a runner on 24th Street right now. I'm trying to get him. <laughs> I think December was actually the most productive month of my whole drawing journey. And it's because I started really paying attention to the relationship between the rib cage and the pelvis and how getting those two things right is what's like really going to get that gesture down and make the pose look more lifelike. Poor Alex Nick was there and he's like, if you're dizzy, you got, got hit in the, the face. Ride. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that looks um, so bad. I don't know. Okay, cotton mouth. Never, we haven't played cotton mouth in like a really long time. How, how bad's mine now? We were, we're both gonna have fucking shiners. Yeah, you, you got some purple. It looks like you're wearing eyeshadow. Holy f <gasps> It's the same eye for both is of it, you. Oh, wait, is it your left? It's oh my, my left god. Eye. They're gonna think we're in a cult. I've just been punching everyone in the band. <laughs> Who are you coming for next, Derek? I'm gonna get Joel tomorrow. I landed a flip tonight, which was sick. Dude, I slashed myself. Oh, my oh. God. Dude, it's worse than mine. Dude, I think this is the worst. Wait, you did tonight? Yeah, at the further recognition. The camera knocked over, just like, I did it like eight times, but I just kept ripping it. And I was getting really excited because like all that work I had been doing with like just drawing the eyes and just drawing the noses and trying to get like just the lips to look like the, like the actual reference. Now that I was putting it in the context of a face again, I was like, yo, like, you know, it's not perfect, but I can tell who I was trying to draw when I did this one. That motivated me and I actually started enjoying drawing faces. So I would just start doing pages of faces again and hair clicked more, like everything was just really coming along. <laughs> Dude, I gotta plug it. We're, Your fry stream tutorial taught okay, me how to fry stream again. Uh, I've been sucking them off all day, dude. I've been like, dude, I love you. No, dude, your voice is amazing. Yeah, right? Literally, I yours, though, dude. Yeah. I literally found you guys like at the same time. No, this dude, guy like, is like an angel. Thing. Yeah, but, but you're really good, man. You have yeah. tons of dynamics, a lot of tricks. You know how to do all these different little dimensions. I can thank tell you're you, very, thank very you. obsessive and, and passionate. Obsessive is the word. Yeah, so, no, that's the only way to get to get that good. I'm, I'm trash. <laughs> I'm trash. Well, that's also the only Dude, way to get good. Dude, we gotta get like a fit, like a video. I suck. The boys. I'd like you guys to meet 
my new cat, who has officially moved in a couple days ago. Say hello to Special Agent Kellerman. Listen, I know that you just moved in and you're camera shy, but by any chance, do you know what my out my new outro should be? Do you have any ideas at all? I'm open to any suggestions. This is your time. This is your moment. Anything that you think is a good idea, I'll accept it. No, trust me. They're not going to make fun of you. They're going to love you, Agent Kellerman. He's, he's a natural. He's so gifted. That... Also, I just got dumped. Oh. I think I told you guys that. Yeah. I just got yeah, you dumped told me that like one. two days ago. Yeah, I'm very I'm salty that. about that. Let me, let me complain about that for a second. <laughs> it was a long distance relationship. We were together for almost two years. It would have been two years in February. I come home from tour. I'm like, I have money to spend on things that I like. And I was like, well, you're my boyfriend. So I want to spend money on you. And he would get like really like offended every time I would like buy him something. He, he would talk about how like he started to crave human interaction. I'd be like, well, come visit me. I'll pay for the plane ticket. All you got to do is get on the plane. And he would be like, nah, man, that just makes me feel like I'm like some whore, like coming to f you. And I'm like, dude, you're my Aww. boyfriend. What the f The next day he gets up and he's like, I have a question for you. And I was like, what's up? And he asked me if I would help him buy a car. Uh, so immediately yeah. I was like, very no, because I'm like, okay, so when I want to spend money on you and I'd like for you to come hang out with me and stuff, my money's no good, but suddenly you actually need something. So you're going to ask me and be cool with it. And so then he brings up, he's like, there's this girl who's been flirting with me and I haven't had a in a long time. I was just like super put off by that. And like, I'm not the, I, I've, I think I said this to Jesus. Like, I'm not the hottest guy in the world, but I do know what I look like. I do know my value. Like, I'm not an ugly person. Like, I've got a great butt, which is, you know, great if you're into dudes. <laughs> so I'm just like, I'm like, dude, like, I don't know. <laughs> it bothers me. And so I'm like talking to him about this girl and I'm just like, like, am I not good enough? And he's like, it's not that at all. Like, it's just like, blah, blah, blah. He basically asked me if he can, if we can break up, but continue to f like an open relationship sort of thing and I was like no I'm not trying to get STDs I'm not into that and then he's like well then maybe we should break up and so the next day um, I'm talking to some friends about what's going on and a lot of people are like yeah this dude is just using you he just kind of he's a dick. he doesn't actually care about you at all and I was like you know what yeah I see that now so I messaged him and was like, listen, I've been talking to some friends and I just start laying these things out that I've become aware of. And he doesn't even let me finish. He just blocks me everywhere. Like, like who does that? Just like the immature even, like, talk. children do that. By the time I got home from tour and switched back to digital, I was like, wow, that almost looks like the person from the photograph. And working with those markers also really affected my line work. Like, even though I'm still drawing over the original sketch and still doing everything on the same layer, I'm like, this looks so much better than it did a couple months ago. And it's crazy how quickly I was improving in, like, just a few hours. Like, this was December 26th. This is December 26th. It was the same day. But, like, the my understanding of line weighting and, like, what should be more bold in just a couple hours increased dramatically. This page showed me how far I've really come since February. This page is technically 2024 because it's January 1st, but I liked it so much that I wanted to include it anyway. I think this is one of my best pages that I did all year. With the exception of this girl in the back, the next day I drew this face and I was like shocked. I was like, oh my God, it looks like the person. Like this like 85% looks like her. Like there were a few little things like, um, her eyes, I made them a little bit different. Obviously, I made the hair a little bit more stylized. Um, the lips were like a little bit longer. Like there's tiny, tiny things, but I was like, it looks like her. And I was really happy to wrap up the year with like these milestones. Like, I don't know, dude, I'm not trying to brag or like sound arrogant. I'm just really, really proud of what I accomplished in the last like 10 or 11 months or whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching. We had a blast this year. Agent Kellerman is happy to be here co-hosting. Aren't you, Agent Kellerman?
for the 2023 recap, we said we wanted to hit 5,000 subscribers this year. Well, we hit 6,000. Thank you guys so much. What do we want to do for next year? I'm thinking 10,000. I'm thinking, you think that's possible, Agent Kellerman? You think it's possible? I think we can do it. With your help, we can definitely do it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Justin. Do the outro, Agent Kellerman. Come on, do it. You came up with it. No, come on. You came up with the outro. This is your moment to show everyone what you're made of. <laughs> Goodbye.